Something you can be proud of, something you know means something to a family. That is really a rich moment when you get to do something that's really special. It's not just a car for a dollar amount, maybe someone that wants to sell it. When you do something for a family that's going to keep it and it means something to the next generations, that's really the sweetest part of it. Well, the first challenge for me was to map out the project against the calendar. We had five months, so to sit day after day and list out everything that had to be done to that car. And I had to try to think through not only when you took a part off, or took it apart, what you're going to discover inside there. And so um, I had to think about the whole car, every piece of it, and then lay that out kind of in a grid and a time schedule, color code it by month or date so we knew we knew when we were getting behind and we knew every time we found a new problem and threw that into the mix it made it more complicated. The one thing that couldn't change was the end date, the date it had to be at a family function. So uh, as we kept fitting all that in, solving problems, new problems would show up and it never stopped doing that all the way to the end. We were still solving the last minute problems and I said when we finished it, we may have had a day to spare at the best. It was close. First off was taking it apart, categorying everything, uh, putting it all in order, boxes, and putting it in storage. We always went to him when we're looking for something. When you get a car that large, all taken down apart to the smallest little pieces and put on shelves, and you're constantly back in the shelf getting something, putting something back. So uh, we were always turning to Artie to, where is this? Where do we put that? And We've came across a lot of problems because. I mean, the car came in with everything uh, not under the hood. <laughs> it was all in the trunk of the car, in the seat of the car, in the floorboard of the car. We didn't know what those things went to a lot of times. <laughs> we laid out sheets of plywood on tables and uh, surrounded the car with all of its parts laid out and start singling off, make sure you didn't forget a little piece because you sure can't trust your memory with that many parts. I'm the lead mechanic. I uh, handled a lot of the engine assembly, the transmission rebuilding, you know, suspension, brake, stuff like that. 
It had been previously overhauled, sat out in the rain, had cylinders three and five filled with water so the valves were all rusted up, pistons and rings rusted. And it was just a mess, missing a lot of parts. A little overwhelming at times, trying to find the parts was kind of a nightmare. My part of the project, I did body work on the car from the back doors all the way forward, front end, hood. I've been doing it for many years, so it's all come natural doing it, you know, but the hardest part to doing the car would probably, I would say, be working the hood and then making the hood nice and flat because it's so hard to get to. You had to have the car put together, so you're having to stretch way across big old round fenders to do so. Uh, and hoods are hardest things to work on, really, to be honest with you. And the fenders are very hard, the big front fenders, because the body line that runs down through them, you have to make sure everything's nice and straight. And that's the first thing you see, the key point in the car, when you see fenders in front end, you go in the front back, basically. I like the paintwork on the car and striping it, you know, doing something different, you know, me and Mike had an idea of which way to size the stripes to use on it and uh, the little taper pinpoint at the front, you know, follow the body lines out and something that would look good and fit the car and uh, that kind of stuff like that is what I like doing. Marty, he, he painted the car and he put a beautiful paint job on it. Wayne, he fixed every little thing on that car that didn't work, worked windows, everything on the dash works, and it was just amazing watching him sit and do his thing, you know, and I learned a lot just watching him. I got in on a little bit of everything, except the interior, of course. First took it apart and then welded a lot of holes and rust and repaired what was damaged on it. Well, the left rear corner was pretty rusted out. I had to do a lot of welding on the left rear quarter and the trunk floor and stuff like that. I was back in that back corner for a while because there was, there was a lot of stuff was gone, just completely gone. It, it ain't that it was difficult, it's just very time consuming. I had to make a lot of parts and then weld them in and then go to the next step. I had to rebuild the complete package tray and then it was made out of wood and in the rear before they could put the top or anything on, or even before we could paint the car. It had to be in there, it was part of the structure. Marty and Wayne did a lot of the majority of the work on this car. Um, the cool part is, is the things that I did are very noticeable and when a person walks up to the car knowing nothing about it, they'll look at that dash and say, oh wow, that, that dash is awesome. Kind of sucks in a way for everybody else because of the hard work they put into the bodywork and the metal fabrication and, and all of that that doesn't get noticed, you know. So it's kind of nice to have your work noticed right off the bat. Anytime I can hand paint something, especially for the, you know, the Rockefellers, uh, to be able to say that they've got a car in their collection with my hand-painted wood trim on it is pretty cool. I've never been involved with a build with that many guys. And usually when you're doing a car like that, it's a three-year build for one person. When you see it go together with seven, it is enjoyable, you know, and it, everything happens so fast. We had a few mechanical problems, but you know, that comes with putting anything that old together, you know. <laughs> I uh, painted parts of the car. The frame, suspension, small pieces. Brought, about anything they brought to me, I painted. A lot of the parts I didn't know what, what they were even to. They just told me what color they wanted them and I painted them. We make sure that when everything gets painted, it's at the highest quality. And the bottom of the car it looks just as nice as the top. Every nut and bolt is as nice as it would have been new or better. It, 
it uh, brought out just how good this group of guys here is capable of being. Because not many shops can take an entire car, car set for 63 years, and in five months, just transform it into something that operates, functions, and is beautiful. So I know that they did a, a stellar job to accomplish that. So that's the thing I'm most proud of. Funny, when it looks all good and you love it, that's the day it leaves. <laughs> when we finally make them look like something, then they're gone. <laughs>